Um, I'm just going to start, you know, even though Laura is not here yet, but, um, uh, but yeah, uh, you know, if you, if you haven't been here before, um, this usually happens on Mondays at 6 PM Pacific time, but, uh, today's a special fat Tuesday edition of, um, the chicken coop, which we'll get to the title and all that, but this is just sort of the pre-show. It hasn't really f- officially started yet. Still got to wait for Laura to show up, but I don't know. I just didn't want to keep you all waiting as the thing. Those of you that are here. And I know a lot of you say here to signify that you're here. And I like that. It's like, you're taking role. Good. And I also thought to myself <clears throat> that, you know, Sean said, he said, he, he, you know, which is, I th- assume a reference to Michael Jackson. I think you're a bit of a Michael Jackson freak. Like we all are, I think, wouldn't you say? And I thought to myself, Hmm, he, he, that sort of, uh, can kind of work for here. I mean, is that what you're intending? Are you kind of almost implying a sort of he here kind of like that, you know, he here, Sort of, if Michael Jackson was to say, if they were taking role and Michael Jackson was in school, would he say, instead of saying here, he would go, he here, something like that, is what I'm thinking, is what I'm thinking you you were saying, I think, right? Laura, give me a thumb up if you're ready to get in here. Okay. (laughs) Sorry, this is, I know, it's not ideal to look, but what can I do? (laughs) just getting blasted huh i'm if i go over here i'm full on blasted but if i go over here i'm in the dark shadows but there's not really much of an in-between and this is the only room i can do this in in this house (laughs) so sorry where i'm in la people just so you know it's a different can you hear me oh sorry about that i i cut out for a second because i switched i wanted to make sure i i switched over to the um the ethernet cable but I'm that sorry. If you're, if it you're looked over like there, you were you're... listening. Oh, really? <laughs> well, you were like <laughs> frozen on that image, so it looked like you were completely tuned in, but then there was no response, <laughs> so I felt that there was something off kilter there. Uh, yeah, so this is... So, so you get I blasted. This, if... it's sometimes... Okay, it, I think it's like the shutter speed, or I don't know. You know what's weird? People, it's... Sorry, but if I move the screen ever so slightly, it kind of brightens it up a little bit on the shadows, but then it goes back to dark. It's so weird how there's this defined line of where know, the light starts. It's just, it's no, sort like, of like, like you know, you're there's kind of like, I was, wrong with the world today. You, you read my I mind. I, <laughs> you read my mind. That's exactly what I was thinking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're the next Steven oh Tyler. My God. It's you're really the freaking t- hot up in here, though. I'm telling you right now. This is right. It's a, it's a scorcher right now. I mean, it is. There's yeah, nowhere else th- to go in this freaking house to do this, though. <laughs> It kind of, someone said it looked like you're in the Old West or something, it, or in the saloon. It does sort of look like you're in a saloon, kind of, you know? Oh, shit, dog. <laughs> um, Step into the light, Caroline. Um, so, uh, to know. answer Kazi's question, it is live. Usually it's live on Mondays at 6 p.m., but we're doing this on um, on to Tuesday for a change. And only because um, scheduling-wise, I guess something couldn't happen. The Laura just couldn't do it, and we just I don't know. Decided to try it on. Uh, anyway, um, so man, is it just really hot there? Your shoulder must be blazing, huh? It's hot as a dick up in here. Let me tell you right now. Damn. Yes, my shoulders blazes deep. <laughs> it's oh my god. You can't. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, you know. I know. You do, there's nowhere else to go. There's yeah, no I guess go. so. Um, okay. Well, let's. Should we start the show? Should, oh, we got another little pick here. That's cool. Ah, oh, yeah. It's kind of funny. I mean, imagine if everybody had child hood pick pictures here for their thing people would, who are new to the show would think what's up with this it's a bunch of kids who watch this show or something that's what they might think right right maybe <clears throat> for example maybe. someone like a, a kazi a, or a kaizi might think oh they just is this show for kids or something <laughs> oh by the way to and and to answer kichi's question am i inside a sauna i am not inside a sauna though i am inside of a bathroom <laughs> of sorts and um, it was the only way it's the only way <laughs> it's the only way it's the only way it gives you easy here. access you know easy access to sort of well there's not an actual toilet in this particular bathroom 
but right, but still, it gives that. you it still gives you easy access to sort of you know to w- water wet, and wet, wet things, bowls. wet bowls and things. Um, so I don't know anything to talk about before we start the show. Mm, I don't think so. Um, I don't know. What about you? Well, I will say it's something. So hot. What? Nah, I don't know if I'll say. Uh, should I say this? Yeah, I think yeah. it's okay. Maybe. Well, what do you do when? Uh, I don't want. I won't talk about it. Actually, I was just gonna say that my, my, I had somebody. Um, you know, I had a cleaner come here, and oh, well, it's a team. It's a brother sister team, and um, the brother took his shoes off and must have had some sort of, I don't Athlete's know, foot. Fu- fun- fungal situation going on. It was really strong, and it's. It stunk the place up, and they left, and it still smelled, and it still smelled the rest of the day. Does and I it think still it's still kind of. I think maybe a little bit remnants. That's and crazy. I just, and I just thought this didn't. This was supposed to be a cleaning, not a sort of a stinking. <laughs> <laughs> and it made me think: Are people? What if you could order a service that make you where you? There was a stinking person that came to your house to stink it up, you know? That would, that would suck. That wouldn't just suck. It would stink. <laughs> well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying but that's what it was like. It's like I ordered a, a stinking service instead of a cleaning service. So I guess my I'm thought really is... having to maneuver away from the sun here. It's just hot as a dick up in here. <laughs> oh what, my is, God. what are you... It's like I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, wow. I have to sit like this because otherwise if I sit normal, I'm like this. Uh-huh. So you have to sit kind of like this? Yeah. So you kind of have to do almost a pose. I have to do this. If I want to hold the microphone, I have to hold it like this. So you kind of have to be like this? Yeah. <laughs> so in order to be comfortable, I have to kind of sit like this. In order to be comfortable, I have to sit like this. <laughs> In order to be comfortable, you have to sit like this. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> exactly. In order to be comfortable, I have to sit like this. <laughs> In order to be comfortable, you have to sit like this. <laughs> In order to be comfortable, I have to sit like this. <laughs> In order to be comfortable, you have to sit like this. <laughs> In order to be comfortable, I have to sit like this. <laughs> In order to be comfortable, so you have bad. to sit like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In order to be comfortable, I have to sit like this. Have you any, have you ever known anyone who this sort of I feel like would encapsulate their essence? <sighs> <laughs> You've met somebody like that? Yes, I think I have. Oh, have I? I do this to Ethan sometimes. I'll go. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> what is and he? He goes, do it again. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's do it again. <clears throat> and I say, you do it. And he goes, uh, <laughs> he can't do it. But it's really funny to. He tries try. to do it. Yeah. How does he do it? He's like. Uh, I can't. Fl- I can't do it. How does he, he know how to it. flare his nostrils? He tries to. He tries to. He doesn't know how to. But. How about this? Do you? What if you have to? But sit he, like- when he wants me to do that, he'll say, "Do uh again." Oh really? <laughs> and then I go. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it gets him to stop thinking about whatever was upsetting him at the time. Mm-hmm. He's upset. In order to be comfortable, you have to sit like this. I actually knew a guy who had to sit like that to be comfortable. This was, I'm not even kidding. You had to sit like there that was to a kid who, this was his face relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. He, and I he know, was not, I, I he know. didn't have any mental disabilities or anything like that. This was just his face relaxed. So if he was talking normally, he would sound like this. Uh, yeah, well, no, I'm actually just going to do some homework after school. So if you want to join me, that's fine. Oh, we're start, class is starting. Okay, sure. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah. I have a question. I remember he was asleep one time and he was like this. <laughs> it was in a carpool. There were a bunch of kids and he was he fell asleep among everybody. Nobody else was asleep and he was like this. And I remember pointing to him going. <laughs> His sister was just like, I don't know why he does that. He's like, he would look like he looked a little bit like this. That I've seen on multiple people where they fall. I mean, I might have even fallen asleep like this at some point. <laughs> but this is Man, a slightly more I, subtle, different look. I wish I had this um, photograph on me at easy access right now. But there was a picture I took of you when you were sleeping once. And you oh, were no. smiling in your sleep like this. Oh. You're kind of like this. <laughs> I think I've seen So that. I just got a oh, dollar put bill. Some money in my I hand. put a dollar bill and kind of made it kind of like folded it kind of and I stuck it in your hand so you're holding a dollar bill. You know, just say this is the dollar bill. You're kind of holding it like this and you're smiling. <laughs> As if you love money or something like that. Right. It was really funny. I took a picture of it. I, I know that picture. Yeah, I've seen yeah. it. I mean, I've given you the copy, a copy of it. Mm -hmm. This hand, though, is so unacceptable, but what can I do? <laughs> oh, yeah, you have to hold it's it like, like that. It's like I'm caressing the microphone. You have, to yes. do like, you have to be like this, Laura. Yes, Barbara, I totally understand what you're saying, and I love it so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> this look. Do you think, I wonder if I have walking, I, I wonder if I have walking pneumonia. Oh, shit. Well, I, the reason I think that is I feel totally fine, except I, I've, for about a week and a half, I've had this kind of cough. Um, it just, it's just because of phlegm that's in my sort of chest, you know, and how would you know if I've you have walking? Pneumonia? I don't know because my thought is I've got no, a no sore throat, no stuffed up or runny nose or anything and no, um, you know, body aches or anything like that or no fever or anything like that. The only thing it is, and it started like this was just. Oh yeah, you just should quit vaping. Me. I know. I just with fries. <laughs> I know. I just, but I've got all this left, you know. And I got, and I got, I use this one up right here. That's why I had to get a new one. See, that one's used up, so I got the new one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> anyway, you want to start the show or <sighs> what? Yeah. By the way, the child is not sick. He's no longer sick. Completely fine now. Completely fine. Yeah, like he doesn't have any kind of fever or anything. <clears throat> okay, cool. So just a heads up. <laughs> There's no way to tell if he has a sore throat, there. though. I don't think he does because he's eating today and everything. Are you letting everybody know that so that they can, they can now play with him? <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you frozen? Oh, whoops. Oh, oh that's funny. People, um, Nicole said, Chicken Jessica, just saying, so you know, Nicole said that some people are in the after show debrief right now. Um, because it was scheduled for six also what the debrief was oh every oh, weird well, artifact was bad. in the debrief so oh. i guess people were kind of in there i guess it's not my fault people are dumb oh. what it's not my fault people are stupid <laughs> shows right here i'm sorry is there wow. a show going on on that link come on <laughs> no that's my mistake i'm sorry about that no oh. no no also no that's dumb. okay I like that. Hey, that's that Tuesday attitude. You got that Tuesday, Tuesday to play. This is, you got this that is Tuesday attitude. On Tuesday. <clears throat> Wait, so it. there were people currently in the after show room just being like, bah, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, they were, they were pecking around. <laughs> and then around, did they just, come here? And uh, are I they I think realizing? eventually they did. <clears throat> mm. Mm -hmm. hmm. Interesting. All right. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, anyway, let's, uh, should we get this party started or what? <clears throat> yeah. Now that it, now that weird artifacts is here. Yeah. And SB three, and CB forty or CB four. CB four. SB three. Okay. SB three. Are any relation to CB three four? CB four. That is we've that made that, that joke store? before. Oh, we have. <laughs> How about UB forty? Any relation? <laughs> yeah. Any relation? Um, CB three. Any relation? UB forty. Let's start the show, I suppose. Or PS1. <laughs> sure. Could you hear me? No. Oh, welcome to the Chicken Coop Show. My name is Brent Weinbach. I'm Laura Weinbach. This is the um, sort of 
video podcast kind of chat live chat show live stream kind of show that we do and we talk about different things and we look at things and um we watch a lot of commercials we kind of chat it up talk to you the audience a little bit sometimes and um yeah i mean it's you know that's how it is i mean and on this episode of the chicken coop you mentioned it's kind of hot, Laura. You're sweating, in fact, wouldn't you say? It's a sweat factory over here, yes. It's a bit of a sweat lodge. So It's intense. By the way, E-40, lie. you know E-40, the rapper? Yes. <clears throat> well, my friend's record label was called E-40 Records mm-hmm. for a while. It had nothing to do with E-40. Right. No, no, no. It was called E-14, actually. E-14. Right. E-14. E-14. It was something mm-hmm. different. Um, so it's a hot right now, and the topic of today is called is well it, it's kind of it's related to summer i mean it's summer is what it is it's a summer it's summertime it is truly summertime now okay it's hot it's pool time weather and yeah. um you know that's what it's about you know totally <clears throat> um what did you, what happened now? Oh, just something was on the windowsill here, and I was having a hard time figuring out what. What it was. was it? It looked really weird. It looked like some kind of knobby like root or <laughs> something, but it's actually I think it's kind of a remnant of a pine cone. <laughs> yeah. A knobby cone. root. It looked from this angle looked really strange, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a pine cone. I you thought yeah. it was a bit of a knobby root. It looked like some kind of knobbelicious root. I can't explain it. It just looked very strange from over here. Whoa, what's what's going on here? Who what is this hey, chicken, Jessica? Hey, chicken. Yeah, what's up? I mean, whatever. Um, so, uh, I don't think anyone's done it yet, but I'm here to talk about. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm so tired. I'm, I'm here you? to talk about. Oh, I'm just exhausted. Uh, wow. Super why chat. You, why are you super, so? I was just doing a bunch of construction kind of stuff. Oh yeah, you trying to get those knobby roots together? Oh. Coop construction. Coop construction and um, I was not. I was the <laughs> demolishing stuff. Mm. Um. Uh, so there's a super chat thing, right? It's the way to tip the show. Let's get into oh. it. You never heard? Oh, of it. they do that. Yeah, there's a thing people, people do, do where someone's like, "I like you. I like you. Here's five thousand dollars for the show." You know, huh. and, and it's called a super chat. Huh. And how you do that? I know you're going to ask anyways. How you do that is you click the dollar sign. Check this. You you click this dollar sign in the chat window, and you could pick Super Sticker if you want, I guess, but I, I prefer Super Chat. Same thing, really. You, you do this thing with the money. You hit buy and send. Don't let it go back down to $2 like that. i got to fix that. Um, you hit buy and send. I highlight the comment. You know the drill. You've seen it before. Huh. And Gemma Leslie, of course, this is the example here that everyone could follow. This is a, a super chat right here, and uh, Justin as well. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Gemma. Um, huh. This is a super chat. Neat stuff. Neat stuff, right? <laughs> so how about that, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm going to peace out, then. All right. Thanks, Chicken Jessica. That's the producer, Chicken Jessica. That Wow, that's really interesting stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> totally. <clears throat> well... Hey, look, uh, it's summertime, and um, we thought we would look at a music video for the for the, anything you want to get out off your chest about the summertime. In the meantime, before we get look at this music video, well, I did start watching License to Drive earlier today. Do you feel like that's a summer movie? Okay, not exactly, but it's a, it's fun. It's definitely fun. It's great. That's one of my favorite high school eighties movies. Why is it one of your favorite high school ladies? Do you love the Corys? I love the Corys in that movie. I I like them. I wouldn't say I love them, but I like them. Um, I like them uh, for... I like that movie a lot, you know? I mean, I love that right. movie. Oh, it's a good movie. Well, do I, you I like, don't know. Do you, so you're, are you a Corey Feldman fan? Or I'll like just say this about the Corys, is that I had a weird dream about Corey Feldman that I dreamt that the Corys were brothers. And I dreamt that they, I think I've told you this before, I, I dreamt they were brothers and I dreamt that I was staying at their family home and I was staying in Corey Hames' old room, okay? 
Yeah. And they they had his room was connected by these French doors to another room that was where Corey Feldman stayed in. Okay. Mm. And I was in the room and then Corey Feldman came in and he said, Oh, Hey, I'm, Hey, how's it going? And I said, hi. He said, sorry, I just, I don't know. I just, I, I thought for a moment in my mind that Corey was alive again. And, you know, he was sad about Corey cause, and he heard the rustling in his room and he thought, Oh, maybe Corey's back in some kind of magical way. Mm-hmm. Or something like that, and he was um, sad that Corey was dead, and and that I mean, Corey Haim was dead, and he kind of thought for a moment that I might have been Corey in there, mm-hmm. Haim that is. So oh, Corey shit. Feldman said, so he was kind of crying and stuff, and I, uh oh, sorry, what? oh shit, oh Hold god, on. what is that? Oh my god, <laughs> oh, my what god. is that? Oh fuck, what okay, is that? Sorry, there's just uh, the only way to be in here is with the window open, but something just flew in really big. Oh no. There's been these intense, you know, those like black wasp thing, not wasp, but those Are like they hornet bee type looking thing. Oh yeah, or they're not those June bugs. <laughs> no, it's not a June bug. No, it's gone and it went back out. Sorry. Okay, it was just a bee. But anyway, whatever the case may be, is I he was he was sad and I was I think he might have been crying and I consoled him, Cor- Corey Feldman. Wow, I really? just said, oh yeah, sorry, I mean, it'll be all right, I guess, or something like that. And it was just kind of an interesting dream that Corey Feldman was so sad about. Corey, they, his brother died. You know, I mean, it seemed like it was his brother. Well, I know? think they thought of each other as brothers. Probably, basically. yeah, probably were. But yeah. also, I was thinking, too, about watching License to Drive and how, you know, I enjoy reliving the 80s a lot through these movies and stuff and through various other activities and stuff. And But it's not the 80s is the thing. And I think it's interesting to watch a movie like License to Drive, which is so, you know, fun and lighthearted and... Also, to be aware of like what eventually would become of Corey Haim after that movie, it's, it was definitely a weird thing to think about. Well, I love that movie because for a lot of reasons. I mean, I liked it when it came out, and then when I was, you know, had to get my license myself, I was so relating to that movie. I watched it right. again, and I was so mm-hmm. relating to it. The speech that Corey Feldman gives about how having a driver's license is like freedom. You know, it's a sort mm-hmm. of freedom. You. I related to that so much, that speech, and oh, I just who thought... who is that? You know the sister, the one who plays the sister in that movie? <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't she's remember. in stuff, but I can't remember what. <laughs> I know that the dad she's... is in the movie oh, The he's Thing. In, he's also in My Girl and other such movies. Yeah, he's in a lot of stuff. But um, no, and also, um, isn't Carol Kane or something like that? And the mom or something the like mom? that? The mom? You mean the one who's on... And she's in The Addams she's Family in, and other things? She's in Scrooge, and she's in... Was she also in, on Saturday Night Live? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe. I don't know. But, but yeah, Corey Haim, it's very, uh, you know, it's a dark story, really, to tell. Sure, it's dark, but that movie's a lot of fun, and I, I no, love that movie. That movie is a it's lot just, of fun. It's, it's just, just fun. It seems like it's a fun you watch adventure, a movie like you know? that, and you feel like nothing bad could ever happen to these people. It's my favorite high school movie. My favorite high school 80s movie, you yeah. know. Really? It's got you all like the that elements. More than, what, you like it more than Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Yeah, I do. Do you like mm-hmm. Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I mean, I think that's one of the ultimate high school. It's good. Movies. It's definitely really good. But it's so good. Yeah. And so funny. Um, but I will say this. I had a speaking of dreams, real quick before we get to this music video mm-hmm. thing, and also talking about the summer more. I had a dream that last night that this was my dream. It's kind of really interesting. I dreamt that people around my age, a certain group of us. Well, I don't know exactly how to put this. It made more logical sense in my dream, but it doesn't make as much sense when I talk about it. But they were, we were put, we were raised on a simulation of Earth that we weren't, that Earth has been destroyed. Okay. And that we were, and we were, we were, we were raised on, you would have been included in this group too, Laura. But I'm frozen. Yeah. Are you frozen? The music. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Okay. Um, that Earth had been destroyed, and we—it's the future, and we, and the world lives on some other planet, or maybe they just live in space in some sort of satellite kind of environment, or something like that, or whatever, right? And, but we people. Are, there was a group of people that were raised on a simulation of Earth, and that they lived. And they kind of 
uh, experienced the 80s and the 90s and so on as a simulation, kind of like the Matrix or something, right? But something happened where we unplugged from the simulation and saw what the future was like and saw that we weren't actually on Earth. We were on this sort of artificial environment or whatever, or not, I mean, artificial, I mean, this man-made environment, that a technological environment. And it, but it wasn't like the matrix in that it wasn't this sort of dark kind of, you know, wasteland of a, of a, of an environment. It was a futuristic kind of just a nicer kind of starstrip enterprise type of environment. And anyway, but we weren't supposed to be unplugged from the simulation. We or something like that, or we, they, they didn't want us knowing about both environments. And so the government was trying to track us down, the people that knew about both environments, that knew, oh, that Earth actually didn't exist and that we are in this actually futuristic environment. But there's a lot of people who live in this, in, in the real world, which is the future. Sorry, this is getting probably real boring, I think. Also, but I, well, <laughs> it's just funny, like, I mean, so this is a dream. This is all your dream. Yeah, and then anyway, one of the other people that was involved in this situation was Aparna Nanshirla. I don't know if you know who that know is, who but she's is. a comedian, yes, and I, I do this I do this biweekly show with her. But oh, um, you? yeah, um, and I want to I got to tell her about this. But and for some reason, she was one of the people too. And anyway, <laughs> we were being tracked by the government. They were trying to find us to execute us, hmm. or something like that. And we were being chased. So then I kind of was telling people somehow I knew people in this, in this future. And I told them, Oh, I'm being, I'm going to have to, all my stuff. Here's all my stuff. Here's all my passwords. Here's, I'm going to, I might be, di- I might be dying soon or something like that. You know, or the, the government's trying to get me. So then I, I escaped. And then I, I don't know. I, I found these, there were these two girls that were kind of early, early to mid twenties, kind of maybe fresh out of college or something like that. They had an apartment together and I was kind of hiding there for a second or something like that. And I told them about how, there's this earth that I told them what earth used to be like and you know how it was in, in the eighties and the nineties, I guess, or something like that. I don't know what, what it is, but then some, and then I, and then they kind of thought that was, it was interesting. And then, then I, I escaped. Oh no. Then I got caught by the government and then, but they didn't actually kill us. They just put us in exile. I don't know. I know this is going on too long. It doesn't even make sense. So did it feel really long? Yeah, kind of. And then I went, came back after the exile and I came back to visit those girls that I had met at, at, in their apartment and they still live in that apartment. And they, it was the math was that it was 15 years later, but it turned out it was actually I mean, it looked like it was 30 years later and they were older. I mean, they would look like they were in their 50s now, these these two girls, and they still live in the apartment together. And by in this time, they had somehow had a kid also or something like that. And they had started to build a whole sort of mythology on or not mythology or something like that they had built all this these texts and kind of I, I don't know maybe this legend around about what earth used to be like or something like that and the people who had experienced this simulation and they had a shrine dedicated to it and it was you know partially re- dedicated to me and so it was this weird thing where I, look, I don't know. I'm I'm done. Forget it. I don't even know what happened. But it was just weird. It was a weird situation, and it was just kind of interesting. Sorry, that was just so pointless for me do to get into that. All, do you think it's? Do you think it means anything? Well, I don't know. I yes, it it is. Oh. There were a couple. I the girls well, I were mean, based on these girls that were at the show that I did yesterday, but Amparna was absent from the show. Actually, anyway, it's not. This is so pointless. I'm not even. Forget all this. Forget this. <laughs> One of, it was just I, weird. They, they basically were this whole community started to develop based on people who had been raised on the simulation of earth that took pl- that took place over the 80s and 90s and, and so forth i don't know i don't even get it forget it this is just too much this is it's too hard to explain a dream and make it interesting to people who didn't but it, it was interesting to me and i'm sorry and i apologize and let's move on it doesn't make any sense i know there was an npr story once or some sort of interview with someone who was a person that was an expert in social etiquette and they said there are three things that you never talk about at a dinner yes. table or with people in public right first one 
dreams. No I know. No one wants to hear it. I know. It's <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. But honestly, I actually am interested in dreams, and I do find them to be compelling. Let me ask you but I imagine was... that most people out there who are listening may not really want to hear it. <laughs> did you maybe, think? Maybe did they you, do. Did you want to hear about no, that? I dream do because I, I think it's. Did you think it was interesting? Did I you actually think... think that lady was wrong when she said that dreams are a, the first number one most. Yeah, you know, I actually, I agree with that. I agree with that too. If the vi- if if the the situation feels right about it, you can talk about a dream and say. You, as an anecdote, you know, uh, you know, I actually had a dream once that was so boring. I woke up. That happened once too, actually. I have to say, uh, my dreams lately have been fairly boring. But I am also really into dreams. I actually was a, I was at actively and avidly trying to induce lucid dreaming for like the last, or for about two or three years before I had my first child, my mm-hmm. only child. Yeah. And uh, so I'm interested in dreams. You know, I'm very interested in it, and I, uh, I think it's, I think it's cool. I think that's a well, cool dream to have that you had such an epic kind of journey. It was it was like a that movie. It, it felt like, like a movie. It went across a lot of a long time span of time. Well, yeah. I mean, we it fast. Like. I mean, when I was in exile, I don't even know what happened. You know what I think it's related to? Because Laura and I watched last night an episode of Naked and Afraid, and <laughs> oh, I yeah. think that tied into it as being kind of exiled and stuff. And then, and and then also, we. It, some for some reason it was the matrix basically it was kind of a twist on the matrix and then also it related to there were these two girls that were kind of younger girls that were really good audience members at the show last night and they were the girl they were basically essentially a variation on them with the girls in that 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 apartment that shared that apartment and then somehow it was the show i did last night and maybe because of partner wasn't there i don't know if that was all really i don't know how matrix falls into it you know how that became part of it but I, I, nothing else happened in the dream. Honestly, I woke up. I, I don't know. I woke up at a certain point, but I thought it was interesting. I was really thought provoked in my in my mind when I woke up. I thought that's interesting. What's going on in that dream? It wasn't a nightmare at all. It was just interesting. Okay. Yeah. So, um, by the way, wet m- nightmare. That's a whole thing. I, I think that's a, a joke I made up a long time ago. I think about a wet nightmare, but I'm sure someone else made it up anyway. Um, wait, what? How do you know about Hen TV, Gemma? I mean, how do you know that? Well, anyway, oh, because we did we say I was gonna look at a music video. Um, okay, look, check this out. All right, the, yes, all this did. dream stuff. We said that this, the dream stuff t- <laughs> we did. The dream stuff ties into the episode, I think, very, very well, actually, because this is. So look, we're gonna watch a summer-related music video. We'll talk about what the music video it is. We're doing another edition of Hen TV, the box, you know, or whatever it's called, Hen TV, the box. Okay, we said it already. Okay, um. I forgot that we said it because this. Oh, we'll talk about it. Let's start this. Let's start this. Uh, this theme thing. Let's, the, let's do the title sequence for uh, Hen TV. I want my black TV. Black. <laughs> yeah. What you want to so do? Annoying. Redo that. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna do uh, the music video. Of uh, for the song um, Suddenly Last Summer, um, which is by the Motels. And this music video, I know this music video. And first of all, a dream, it's about a dream. Okay, for one thing, the girl in it has a dream. And also, so that relates. And it's obviously summer related and kind of, you know. And then, but the reason, the real reason I picked this is because the end of this vi- music video is so bizarre. It's just truly a bizarre ending. And you're going to, and I don't know, you probably haven't seen this music video, right, Laura? I have not. But you know okay. the song. Yeah. In fact, Laura, I think I dis- discovered this song because of you. Oh, really? Wait. Well, because you have that Motel's record. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You remember that Motel's record that you have? Mm-hmm. It's called Little Monsters or something like that or something like that. Maybe. Mm-hmm. What is it called? Little monsters? That's not little monsters. I don't know what it's, it's called. Like I forgot. Tiny monsters or something like that. I don't that, recall or... monsters being in the title, but okay. Something like that, or little thieves or something, or little burglars or something like that, or something like that. <laughs> and it and it's on anyway. It's on that album, and suddenly last summer. So, um, anyway, I guess let's just get into this music video. I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, this is a, I mean, there's some stuff in here that we'll like to see. So I have seen this one. This isn't a fresh sort of 
thing for me, but it, it might be fresh for you, Laura. Okay. So we got to just go inch by inch and really um, have the volume real low on this. Is Okay. Is the volume even on at all? Or Oh, it is. Okay. Okay, it is. It is. We got to go is, but real slow. There's just kind of like you know, these nothing in the beginning. Get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, well, you got cut off. What did you say, Chicken Chosen? I was going to say there's just kind of like nothing in the beginning. So the volume is on. The volume. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got, yeah, got yeah. it. Okay, yeah. Okay, so there's an ice cream truck or something like that at nighttime. So what's going on here? Are those people trying to jack that car? Hold on. What's going on? Are they trying to jack the car? It seems like it, right? These these kind of gang members, I guess, that are trying to jack the car, I think, right? Wait. <laughs> and none of them are wearing shirts? Or one well, guy's not wearing a shirt? Well, I think they are wearing shirts, but they're just sleeveless shirts. It's you really know, hard they're to bad see. Boys. They're bad boys. Now, I think what it is is... They they said, oh shoot, the, the ice cream man's coming. Go 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 go. You know, <laughs> maybe the ice cream man works as he sort of has double duty. He's kind of a citizen on patrol or something like that. Or he's doing he's the way they're running watch. away. The way they're running away from that car, it seems so choreographed. It's like well, in sync. Keep going. It is interesting to me that they're trying to break into a car and then they see you hear an ice cream man instead of a siren. It's an ice cream truck sound music and then they say oh go 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 ice cream man's coming also why do they all need to be there for the break-in doesn't that seem a little like well one guy's watching one guy's picking the lock the other one's drives masturbating in the, in the passenger seat just to leave a mark <laughs> yeah um, but hold on i think you got to just go inch by inch on this here yeah, ice cream man, nighttime. And what ice cream man is going around I at know. night? What what creepy ice cream person is going around at night? Wow, wait, hold on. Does that go as slow as that? It that That's, see, this, wait, does that go as naturally? This is Lynch right here, I must say. I mean, this is on some Lynch in a way because Kinda. the way that door is closing, that's Lynch. Whoa. Wait, is it? Whoa. Okay, hold on. Right, here's the music. Building passion? Oh, building passion. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold Wait, on a second, though. Building passion. That that door closing like that, that screen door, that is pure David Lynch right there, is it not? Well, I don't know. Maybe. I actually almost would, wouldn't be surprised if David Lynch directed this. No, but the frame rate doesn't quite seem like no, David that, Lynch. No, David Lynch does that. He does that kind of frame rate. Really? I don't think so. He does. Keep he going. totally does that. That is Twin Peaks right there. They do that. This is actually very Twin Peaks, this whole thing. I don't know. Let's keep going, though. Let's see what else there is. Man, it's really hard to see in here. It's because of the... Okay, okay no. we really have to what be... What is that? Okay. Jane... Building Passion by Jane... Bierce or Pierce? Wait. <laughs> or... I think it's Bierce. Bierce. Jane is that Bierce. one of those weird pictures? Oh, my God. Is that one of those Reader's Digest books? Do you remember those... No. Oh no, it's not. Oh. Okay, cuz do you remember those it's weird books? It's a romantic books? novel. Okay, do you remember those weird books that we had in our library, not library, but in the bookshelf? Yeah. That looked like they had these kind of covers that were just blank and then but they were actually readers digest books and they were yeah. weird. They were like weird stories. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I thought yeah. this might be one of those, but it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so, so they need to build some, sort some of, passion. That's this looks symbolic. like a young teen's. It looks like a young a adult young, fiction. It's a young adult romantic fiction, romantic Maybe. novel. But then again, building passion does not sound like a young adult novel's <laughs> title. It sounds like a sort of well, adult, so, adult well, title. I mean, these people, these figures on the f cover. Oh, like, are certainly. they like doing it? Well, no, they're just oh, very. Oh no, it's adult. a romance novel. Full on. It's not young adult, but you know what makes it seem young adult is that border around the side of it. And that little that sort little of icon, icon that in little, the upper that right. little, yeah, that little right. sort of logo. Right, it seems like some kind of not sort of scholastic, like pelican, but in the pelican, yeah, pelican books brief of sorts. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's some it's sort, sort of, of pelican. It's some sort of uh, what do they pelicans. call those things? Flamingo. It's flamingo books, you know, or something like that, or like <laughs> it's like a penguin books, classic. Like it's like a penguin, penguin classic, yes. but it's a flamingo. It's, it's a, a flamingo, flamingo spinoff. <laughs> it's a flamingo sort of classic. From the penguin from the penguin umbrella. Right. It's from the from the from the penguin series. From the penguin so, umbrella sprouts well, flamingo. Notice this. Flag. That oh, wow, this went from black color. and white to color. Yeah. Mm, well, the passion. So that's interesting. Now. So so this is girl reading this romance novel. Mm, and she's girl or reading, woman? 
woman. I she's know. a girl. She's a girl. She's a woman. She's a girl. You'll see. She's a girl. Look at those lips. Those she's a teenage women. girl. That's women's a, lips. No, teenage girls' lips were like that in really? the 80s. Oh, yeah. okay. Now I see. It's, a, but it's she's, actually really hard to see for me because my... She's reading... Hair. This is actually very apropos to my dream story, I think, in a way. Because she's going to fall kind of asleep. It's a Valley of the Dolls kind of look to it at the moment. Valley of but the Dolls? I don't know. I'm just, just saying. Keep going, though. Wait, pause. keep pausing it. We just can't let this. Okay, so she falls asleep. I guess she's not falling asleep like this. Pause it like this. <coughs> what if she did fall asleep like this, Laura? <laughs> what if she was reading the book, you know? She's going, here, let me just. She's reading the book. Let's just say this is a book right here, right? She's reading the book. <laughs> she's like this. Something like that, right? Could be. And it would be funny if, like, just a tiny bit of drool started dribbling out of it. I know. That would be great. That'd be great. <laughs> oh, it's a different yeah. person. She's. It's also her dream. Meeting. Well, that's the lead singer of the motels, Martha Davis. Oh. <clears throat> so she turned, I think, in her dream, she became Martha Davis. Huh. It's a simulation. Or maybe Martha Davis is dreaming of a simulation where she's right. a girl and she's, um, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, first of all, this is all very surreal already, okay? These people are trying to get it, break into a car and there's an ice cream truck that's riding around at nighttime, okay? <laughs> What's going on with that? Right, I don't know. Maybe that was part of the dream, though. <laughs> I like this song a lot, too, by the way. She became Warwick Davis. <laughs> <laughs> you just... Okay. So, okay, hold on a second. Back up. What happened? She Did she get out of bed, Martha Davis, just now? Yeah. So she gets up, and she goes out, and it's daytime, right? And it's the beach. Yeah. She's at, They're at the beach. So they're no longer in a suburban area. And then it's now. also kind of a handheld camera style on the beach. For a Is it? There. It was. This has got almost a dump kind of feel right, to it. Right, kind of dump. Yeah. I mean, well, by the by very dump, desolate, deserted. <clears throat> I mean, the short film, The Dump, <laughs> yeah, yeah, from the 1960s or so. <clears throat> I know exactly what you're talking about. So here comes Martha Davis out on the, the dunes on the beach. We just have to stop and go. Mm-hmm. Well, what if what if I just like keep it muted? Well, but there might be a visual want to hear the song. recognition. Yeah, let's hear the song. Yeah, cut. Wow, that's cut, some cut, 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 cut. I would say cut. This is going too long. Go back. Go back to that shot of her walking down the dune. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, keep going. That's weird, right there, right? That tree lot, that tree just like cut off right there. That's not middle? a tree. What is that? It's an obelisk, I think. A what? An obelisk? What is that? I don't know. Some what kind of some sort of obelisk or something like that. I think that's some you know, I mean, I don't think that's necessarily a tree. I think it could be some sort of structure of sorts. It looks like it could be a structure, but it also could be a weirdly oddly straight tree <laughs> with a strange root kind of. Wait, hold on, pause it. Let me just see what this what is. What is that here. damn thing? Hey, hey people was Hey people, hey, people was thinking of getting a membership, but not sure if I should go straight to level two. Well, that's an interesting thing. I'll tell you this much. Right now, level two, there's a behind-the-scenes video, and it was accidentally public, actually, on for an hour yesterday, but that everyone could see it. But, hey, maybe it gave people a taste. But we saw this real weird painting in there. You'll see what we mean if you check it out. Yeah, there's some cool stuff. So, you know, hey, for people who are level two, vouch for it if you dare. Um, anyway. That tree is so weird. You think it's a tree? I think it might be, yeah. It's the giving tree. What's an obelisk? You know, it's a kind of a uh, sort of a structure of sorts, you know, um, a sort of a, Should I a, know a that? pole. <laughs> no, you, you might not need to know that. Okay. You know, it's like a, 
you know what is a ch- obelisk exactly? Um, is it like a panopticon? Chicken? <laughs> Just kidding. I know. No, not panopticon. no no no. It's not like a building. It's. Do you um, know what a panopticon is? Yeah. Uh huh. I like that word. <laughs> well, you know, what? Michelle What's Foucault that? talks about it. Yeah. What? Uh, obelisk. Yeah. What would you? How would you describe an obelisk? I don't know. Like just a little structure. A column. Uh, like, monolith, a, like a pillar, a just a, a, pillar. Pillar, a pillar, a pillar, a pillar, a pillar. Yeah, a pillar. obelisk. I don't know a if monolith. it has to be like rock to be an obelisk. Maybe I think it's a material, stone or something. I don't know. Yeah, what or is, material or is does any, have any pillar? I think it has to be stone or something. Maybe it's stone. Just a stone obelisk. I don't know. Stone. I'll oh. see you in the house of stones. Remember that song, Laura? Of course, of course. I'll <laughs> see you in the house of obelisk stone. <laughs> I think she's from Berkeley, California, I think. I'm just going to try to talk over this a little bit so that we, you know, it's not, you know what I mean? When the music is playing, it won't get, mm-hmm. you know, copyrighted. Go ahead. Oh, Jeez. by the way, Trey Brown made a good point that, oh, Dune? That's very Lynch. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess the Washington that's Monument so... is an obelisk, isn't it? The Washington Monument? Oh, okay, cool. So she's just sort of in a dream state, sort of introspectively kind of contemplating her inner innards. Her innards. Now, wait, what's now, this? Now there's two legs. There's a four sleeveless, legs. There's one, of the sleeveless ge- male. one of the gang members oh, one from of earlier. one of the gangsters, yes. One of the gangsters Look from earlier. Look at that. Earlier. That was a turtle head. Did you not see that? Let me see that. Let me hit that turtle head. Go back, that? Go back to the Yeah, turtle head. I mean, the turtle head rock? Yeah, look oh, at that. It's it, a turtle whoa. head on its side, don't you think? Oh, that is crazy. That it's is a turtle, a turtle head. head lying on its side of its face, don't you think? Wow, that is a turtle that is just sort of sleeping, actually. He's like, oh, he's just oh, sort of sleeping in the sand. No, oh, dream. It's sleeping. It's a dream. It's, dreaming. Dr- it's, it's the a turtle's dream. Turtle, yeah. Oh, she, oh, the girl turned into a, in her dream, she turned into uh, the woman and then I think turned it's into like a, a turtle. I not she's turning into. I think they're all sort of. They're all dreaming. They're all dreaming and they may all be dreaming of each other. They not, they're not. I don't think that it's all about her per se. I think it's all sort of, it's a simultaneous simulation, so to speak. They're all simulations. They're all simulated dreams. Simulated wet so, dreams because they're at the beach. Right, that's true. <laughs> and there's a guy with sleeveless shirt on, so there you go. Well, that guy is from, he's one of the carjackers. He's a carjack. <laughs> he's a carjack. Why did she lift up her leg like that? Both legs. Well, that's what girls do in the 80s. They right? didn't do, they don't do that now, though, do they? They, do, they did that in the 80s. Whenever they kissed, they lift their leg up, one leg up remember that man she is hugging him so endearingly look that's at, so funny though that 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 that's a classic thing and they kind of make a joke of it in naked gun look at this look at how like intimate this hug is i feel right they're really wow, that wet they just got their feet wet they both got wet dream <laughs> they just got their feet wet his jeans are going to be wet though his jeans are going to be a telltale sign that he was robbing that car right. there's going to be a trail of seawater <laughs> <laughs> right right from it's, the car all the way over to the Empty warehouse where they dwell with the gang of ten shirtless men, sleeveless men. I should say. Gang of ten street shirtless men. Ten gang, shirtless a gang men. of ten. A gang of ten shirtless of shirtless men. men. A simulation <laughs> by Martha a, Davis. A gang of ten shirtless men walk the night, prowling by moonlight. <laughs> a simulation by Martha Plimpton. A, a simulation. A masturbation. <laughs> A simulation, a masturbation, <laughs> constipation, enjoy. Elevation. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're really hugging it out they're here. Really you know? it they're out. really hugging it out. Oh, they wow, they're now. kissing it out at this, this point. This guy's got sideburns and everything. He's kissing. Oh, my God. So, he, wait, wait, hold on. So, now so they are... So, he's are a they hardcore inactive? carjack, he has a, sab- a soft, sensitive seawater side. Well, now side. they're building passion here, right? They're kind of they're enacting the book. passion, yes. She's having a dream about the book. So the girl, this girl, fell asleep, and then she dreamt that she's a woman, and she is the woman in that in the book. Oh, perhaps the the women, and you know, yeah. Okay, go ahead. I think. I wonder if that was one of the. I just said. I think like this. I I went. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. Um, I think that's one of the. that's one of the band members, I think. Then I'm the not dude? sure. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh. I think. 
Carry on. They're all alone on the beach. There's no one else with them there. I mean, there's no one else there. <laughs> oh, Laura, that turtle was Morla. Morla the Gabian Ancient points out. Yes, it was. That's what it looked like. Very Morla, good, Gabian. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Very good, Gabian. <laughs> good, Gabian. Good, Gabian. Good, Gabian. Good. Oh, look at that sort of very filmic look. <laughs> These are very sort of faded photographs, aren't they? Where? That? It's all of it. All of it. It's a dream. Well, and you know what? In a way, film is dream. Dream. Dr- films film are is, dream. Well, films are like photographs, <laughs> and photographs are like dreams. And you know what? Music videos are like dreams in a way. They yeah. are. Well, they're very sort of <laughs> yeah, it's random. Good, Gabian. And that's what she's saying to him. Good, Gabian. Sit down. Sit down, Gabian. Come, sit here with me on your knees. I want to show you something. Everything Gabian. the light touches belongs will be yours. to us. <laughs> what about that shadowy place over there? You must never go there, Simba. <laughs> that is you must never go graveyard. there, Gabian. You must never go there, Gabian. You must never go there, Gabian. Promise me I'll never go there, but I want to. <clears throat> That's where my boys are hanging out. We gotta go jack some cars over there. Okay. Yeah. He goes, okay, Gabian, but be careful. But remember, I warned you. Okay, Gabian, but be careful. I Everything the light touches shall be yours. You have forgotten me. <laughs> no, how could I? You have forgotten who you are. <laughs> All right, carry on, carry on. <laughs> Sorry, Gabian. <laughs> Sorry, Gabian. <laughs> what, for <laughs> roping him into this? Sorry for roping you into this mess. Look at their building passion here, wow. building passion. Wow. Her leg He's is so up. thin. Well, pause course. it, pause it. Let's look at that man's face here. This is a good oh shot God. of his face. Look at, oh my God, his nostrils are so flared. He's totally doing that face I did. He's got already. almost a He's like gold this. Bloom. He's like, he's like, uh. He's almost got a gold. Oh my God, Laura. He does he have is, a gold bloom type is, Wait, Laura, do your face on him right now. Well, he's the, not the, quite uh, doing, but he is do, kind go, of doing Wait, blow Laura up like that, but next to the face. I love you. <laughs> but do that your uh, face that you okay. did your. Uh. <laughs> but now do that with your mouth closed. Mm. <laughs> mm. I love you, God damn it. Mm. He's got a gold bloom ass like, kind God of. God damn it, I love you, Carol. Did you think he's you a just bit. come with me? <laughs> <laughs> I he's never so... wanted to steal. I never wanted to have a life of. Of, of, of sin, carjack. Of carjack and sin. He's I... like. God damn it, Carol. This will be my last night. Just come with us and it'll be our last night. We'll run away to the beach together. I said I wanted to work for Car Max. I didn't say I wanted a Car Jax. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I wanted to I work at Car Max, not Car Jax. <laughs> He's like, Stella, come with me. We'll jack one last car tonight and then we'll come back to the beach tomorrow. And she's like, but we'll we're jack at the one beach off. now. He's like, I don't want to be at this beach. I want to go to Zuma Beach. Where <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to Santa Monica Beach. I want to go to Zuma. <laughs> <laughs> you told me you promised me Zuma. <laughs> He's like, God damn it, Carol! You promised me Zuma. <laughs> All right, carry on. <laughs> he looks very '80s, doesn't he? Right. He's got that kinda. '80s kind of reminiscent of the '50s kind of look. You know what well, I mean? Kind of, yeah. '80s. Yeah, that they do that in the '80s. Oh, they well, do. She's 50s. started pulling him back now. He wants more. She's saying, but this will never work. She's saying, no, not here, Zuma. <laughs> not here, not now. Not here not, at Santa Monica. Not Santa Monica, Zuma. Zuma. <laughs> Look at this. She's all oh, getting shit. having a wet night. Oh, okay, wet dream she's here, having right? a bit of a night. She's having a bit of a wet mare. But it's kind of interesting how look those people on the cover of that. Now here's the thing. Do you think prop department made this? Did art department oh, look make at that, that? Yeah, their pose is the same as the pose that they were just in. Right. Did art department make that? Because they don't look exactly like those people in the book. I mean, that book <laughs> like it looks like it. It is an older book or something like that. It's a signet classic. Oh, Go signet. On. Right. Of course. It's a bit of a signet classic. Right. But. <laughs> You know, but what do you think of those sheets? I kind of reminds me of our grandma's house for some reason. The or, sheets you know what I mean? almost look like they could be Laura Ashley, or, or not Laura Ashley sheets, but they could almost be shabby chic by, by Target, <laughs> which is a compliment. I like that they're kind mm. of a calico print. Mm. Um, but uh, <coughs> when we look to this next shot after this, where it goes to that umbrella on the beach, Sorry. we'll talk. Can about I jump it. in here? Yeah. yeah, this is a real book. I just looked it up. Oh, it is. I'm sure it yeah. is. I don't know. I thought I wondered if art department made it. You know. Oh, oh, you were wondering if art department made the book. Oh, okay. yeah, or made the cover or whatever. Yeah, made the book. Yeah, mm-hmm. made the book. You know, just for this shoot. You know. I wonder if they had to get clearance on this book. Probably. It's largely featured. That umbrella is so. Look at this. Are they hot. doing? S- what the hell? Are they kind of? They're building it? passion. Wait, are they doing it or are they just hugging on the beach? 
You know what yeah. I mean? What's going on here is what I'm trying to wonder. I think they're hugging and... It is Bierce, Jane Bierce. Bierce. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Wait, hold on. Look at... There's some kind of thing. Is that a, pterodar- a pterodactyl? Pterodactyl flying in the background? Oh, this I is think from, it's oh, probably is... more of a seagull or pelican. I think it's from the Land of the Lost series. Realistically speaking. <laughs> That does look like a dragon or something. Wait, what's going on here? Oh. So what's going on here? Is that her also? That's yeah. her? Yeah, but what's going on is what I'm trying to understand here. Are they They're just, just building lying passion. down? They're building okay. passion. They're not doing anything, right? Maybe not. Okay, they good. They be. <laughs> Wait, they're spinning out of control here. This well, is where passion, the music changes. The passion here. is spinning out of control. The music kind of spun. What the this hell? part is just really interesting and different here. Right. This is like all of a sudden Taco steps in. <laughs> taco steps they pass the mic to the taco <laughs> they, they pass the mic to taco taco or like what's this all about what's going on here this you know so why funny. this is so funny oh my god i know this what's going on why did so it happen what's happening here they're all looking at the camera now what happened they're kind of breaking the illusion or something you know right well it's also like the circus comes to town with this dude I know. Well, Taco came to town. <laughs> right. Taco came to town and stepped in. They had to break up the passion, which was getting way too intense. <laughs> like, are you dreaming? Are you not dreaming? Why? These what? Guys oh, are that too guy funny. looked like Donald Sutherland just now, by the way. That did guy. he or did he look kind of like. He's Donald Sutherland? Else. Look, Donald Sutherland right yes, there. Yes, I see like... that, but I see other things too. <laughs> He's a Donald Sutherland. It's just so interesting. I guess those guys are, and they're definitely band members, but obviously. But I guess maybe that guy who was the romantic interest was not, maybe not a band member. I don't know. You know, maybe not. It's hard to say. Yeah, these gu- these guys do. They does look like Kubrick. This does look like a Clockwork Orange all of a sudden. You know, right? Something to that. Effect. This is some sort of Clockwork Orange. It's Taco does Clockwork Orange. <laughs> it's inserting clock- it's, themselves it's, in your dream. Yeah, it's cock- Taco, it's co- taco, taco sings Clockwork Orange. Clockwork, ta- Taco does a Clockwork Orange. Yeah, Clocko. Uh, For one clock- night only at the Orange how about, Theater. How about this? Taco eats a Clockwork Orange. <laughs> Taco like peels a clockwork orange. Yeah, ta- Taco peels a clockwork orange. One night only at the Tomcat Theater in San Francisco. <laughs> the Tomcat Theater is Tom- in L.A. Oh, it is? Oh, no. You could also say they moved the Tomcat to San Francisco right. for one night only. Ta- ta- taco. The feature Taco ta- doing taco a clockwork. Peels, that's taco peels a clockwork orange <laughs> by, you know, by, by Jane by Beers. By Tomcat. Oh, or, okay, by Jane yeah, Beers. By Jane yeah. Beers. I don't know. <clears throat> Jane Bierce's taco does a clock. Or how about Jane taco Bierce's present. taco? No, it's like this. Jane Bierce's taco peels a clockwork orange for one night only at the Tomcat Theater in. By Martha Davis. <laughs> by oh wait, by, by, Warwick, by, Davi- by Warwick Davis. By Warwick Davis. By Warwick Davis. Featuring war- featuring guest appearances by Warwick Davis, the <laughs> Motels, Taco, Mot- and music above by all. the Motels. Yeah, special guest appearance by Warwick Davis from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> He's no, like you don't even mention Willow. You know, you don't even mention Willow. <laughs> Is he you actually go, in Star Wars? Or actually, no, you just mentioned Leprechaun only. You go, oh, yeah. with special guest appearance <laughs> by, by Leprechaun. Leprechaun. <laughs> lep- no, by, yeah. Special guest also appearance known by Warwick Leprechaun. No, no, you don't even say Warwick Davis. You just say special appearance by Leprechaun. <laughs> Leprechaun. <laughs> with music by the Motels. Gigi <laughs> Smith and the Saturday Night Live All Stars. Gigi Smith. And Goblin. It's not Gigi Smith. It's like. It's like a cross it's between like they're GGL just and naming and G- all these G- random G- people. They're like, <laughs> for one night only at the Tomcat Theater in the Orpheum in Los Angeles, California, we have in Taco conjunction, in, Peels in, in, a Clockwork Orange starring in Goblin, conjunction with Leprechaun, in, <laughs> Goblin, um, Leprechaun, G.G. G. Smith, G.G. Smith, and the Saturday G. G. Night Live G. G. All Stars, G.G. Allen, Warwick, G. G. Allen. Dion, War Warwick, Dion, Davis, da- Warwick. Davis. <laughs> They're well, like two there different should people. be a band just called Warwick. <laughs> Warwick. Or no, just actually. Warwick. Warwick. <coughs> Warwick. Oh, they're not in the beach anymore. They're in some sort of field or sort of another the location. Circus. Oh, oh look, no, there's, the, there's the there's the there's truck. the truck. There's the ice cream truck. There's the taco truck. The infamous truck. ice cream truck. Yeah, the infamous <laughs> ice cream truck. Starring Taco. <laughs> the infamous ice cream trucks. That's a band. Star- <laughs> with music by the infamous <laughs> the infamous talk uh, ice cream. The oh inf- no, I know what it is. It's the t- it's the ice cream truck. For, it's Smashing Pumpkins actually. Oh, you know? they're coming to smash it's Smashing pumpkins. pumpkins. Right. And who knew that Warwick Davis would have become a pumpkin in 1986? <laughs> taco smashes pumpkins with music by Billy Corgan. <laughs> 
Whoa, whoa, look, more guys. Oh, my God, they are so funny. This That <laughs> whole look and that whole just choreographed, like, revealing one after the next thing, that is in so many 80s videos. It's I want to do it. Right, I do, too. <coughs> you know what's weird, though? I oh, guess there's that... our man with the sleeveless shirt. That's not the guy. That's not the same guy. He's one of the guys. No, that wasn't the guy, the romantic interest, though. No, he's know? not. But, whoa, look at this intense guy in the front. How funny is look this? Look at the that... guy who's about to turn. He looks very sort of like my face I was doing earlier. <laughs> Watch. How he... funny is that all these guys, are? Do they just said, let's line up, guys, and then you're going to turn to the camera. We're going to kind of, we're going to just sort of zoom back. We're going to zoom back, revealing each and every one of your beautiful little taco faces. Like, keep going. Taco look. faces, your taco Honest, faces. Look at this. Uh, no, everybody, look. I want you to show me your best taco yeah, face. Yeah, give me your best <laughs> taco look. And go. It's like, like our dad when we used to do, like, you know, these faces for the camera, you know, like told the kids at a birthday party right. to give them, do their best, you know, right. face or whatever. Right, totally. Let's look All at right. this next guy coming up. Watch. Okay. Press play. CJ. You there? <laughs> Look at that Pause guy. It. <laughs> okay, there was something really funny about You're it. You're right. He goes he's like this. Like All of them are kind of doing the, their best taco face, but he kind of turns around going like, Look at oh, him. What? He looks like he's about to sneeze. Look he's at, got he's a French like, look. He's like this. He's like... <laughs> when he he actually kind of does. He actually looks like this. Can I get a close-up kind of... Or not, you know, but keep that image on there. Look, at he looks like this. He looks... Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> kind of right He's but let me like try that, can know? i try it he's like this he's like <laughs> can't, this is so outrageous this whole sun thing i can't even <laughs> why do I you can't do anything here i'm just <laughs> I'm blocked out by the sun mm -hmm. <clears throat> do it again laura wait I, I got an idea no start i guess start in the sun laura Well, get into the shade. <laughs> That's though. what it looks okay. like he's going to... Anyway, keep going. Mm -hmm. He seems like he's different he than like the other... Wait, hold on. Pause it. sort of Komodo. Wait, go back. These, man, these guys look so power poppy in a way. Well, hold on. But so look at the way they look. He looks really different than the others. You know what no, I mean? No, he does. He's, he has a kind of like about to sneeze He's almost of kind of a snooty guy. look. He looks a like snooty a snooty sneezer. guy. He's like a Ferris Bueller's Day Off snooty kind of restaurant guy in a way. Sort you know of, what I mean? Yeah. But look at also, how this is. All, all these, these guys, guys are kind do of do have a different kind. Like some of them look like they could be from, um, you know, what's that band? Be my cherry pie band. You no, they don't at all. No way do they look like it. I don't know. Some cherry pie kind of no, po what? poison or something. Poison. It's warrant. Warrant. Oh, poison? not warrant. Okay. Sorry, but what's the Motley other Crew? Motley, Motley, Motley Crew. There's a remin They are reminding they me a little bit. No. The guy in the back. No. Second not to at last. all. Eh, kind Maybe. of, not really. These Maybe guys a look, drummer from Mr. Big type these, of look? No, these guys to me look just fully... They do have a hair look. With, no, no, that especially with that white tie he's wearing. I mean, this is purely an Ooh, early really? 80s... They look early 80s <clears throat> power pop kind of look. Or they power just look, pop, sure. They just look like an 80s power pop kind of band, you know? Well, yeah. Look at Donald Sutherland. <clears throat> but... Pause it. I mean, just to stop and go. Also, it looks like that guy's wearing some sort of Chinese kind of outfit. I was going you know to say, I mean? it looks like he's wearing a kimono or something. Not, not Chinese. Or not kimono, but he just or looks what, like not he's Not a kimono. Wearing... What's, what are those? Sorry, that sounds terrible. But what's, what's... A kimono is Japanese. You're right. But what is the what is that outfit called that is actually Chinese? A it Chinese. Has like, he has, has one like of those. Ties going all the way down. Yeah, it's know. one of those Chinese kind of outfits, you know. What's that called? It's a that? Chinese shirt, you know. I forget what they're called. I hear. I just heard somebody say "mom." Oh yeah. Okay. Anyway, that guy's really different than the rest. He looks just very. Sort no, of, he's very much he about just, to like. He seems it. more. He seems like he thinks he's better than the rest of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? He does. Well, he also looks like he's gonna sneeze or barf or something. He's like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm wondering if we should stop here or if we should do the you know finish this out in this episode and then do the after show deep. What do you think? Well, I was going to say stop here and then finish it in the debriefs. That's my call. I mean, that's mine. What do you, I mean, here's the thing. We're kind of, I guess we're, we still have, I don't know, I guess a third of the video to go, I guess. So maybe we should stop here and then go to the debriefs because look, guys, I'm sorry to people who are not members, but you've got to see the end of this video. It's so weird. I mean, you can just watch it on your own, but 
the end of this video is just really bizarre. I don't get it. And I'm really, it's going to, I think, create a lot of interesting, interesting discussion, I think, because it's a mystery as to what is going on with this. The well, it's also funny, video. like, why were they standing? What were they doing before they turned around and looked at the camera? Were they just looking at some Maybe they were trying to jack another car. It may, maybe they're trying to jack another car. This could I be the whole. I don't know if this was the carjacking, to be honest. It could be. No. They're up to something else. Sutherland. Look at Billy Corgan right there. Dude, Billy's like, what are you doing, Donna? Get back in here. we got some ice cream to deliver. D <laughs> Donna? Like, you mean Darcy? What's her name? I don't know. Darcy. Oh, her name's Darcy? Wow, yeah. I didn't even realize it's The blonde girl? No, oh, well, the main girl. You mean the blonde girl? Or the, the only who, girl? The, the only, only girl in the band? She's a woman. But yeah. The woman in the band, Darcy. Well, the one who we just saw at the beach. Oh With no, the, that's Martha. Uh, oh, oh, oh shit. Okay. Oh my god, Laura. Oh my god. That is crazy. Whoa, that is crazy. Hold on. All right. Here, do oh. you want me to Oh, he just pushed it over. Okay, wow. You want oops. I took her oh, out. I think probably I took, her out. took took that out. Yeah. No, good, good. So he yes. I think what happened is her kid, who's my nephew, um, but uh <laughs> pushed pushed this um kind of thing down, I guess. Well, was it like a divider? It's like one of those thing? What? Japanese it's a divider. divider yeah, it's a divider. You know what? Now would be a good time to actually to uh, I guess kind of end this episode, I guess, right? Yeah. Um, here's what I'll say. Uh, yeah, it was like a divider thing, you know, a wall, a kind of a, a a privacy, a privacy. Was it a privacy wall? Um. So here's what I'll say. Look, guys, I know some of you like cheeseburger with fries and a urinal. I mean. I want you to be there, but I just, you, you look at the, watch the video. If you're not a member, just watch the video on your own. Okay. But if you want to be a member, you can join us for the after show debrief and you get access. Well, it depends on the tier. Um, do you want to go back in Laura? Thumb up or not? You want to go back in Laura? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I was going to say, uh, so if you want to be a member, and you can get access to all the after show debriefs. Um, there's a join button. And it's right here on the uh, there. See that button? You press it, and then you can join two different tiers. The first tier access to the after show debriefs, and there's a lot of them. And we've got over a year's worth of after show debriefs. And there's some fun stuff that happens after show de debriefs. I swear to it. Just ask any of the members; they'll tell you. There's a, there's a lot of fun to be had. And you get these icons and stuff that you can use to sort of put in your the text that you do. Look at that. Look at these little hand-drawn things. That's pretty neat, right? Tier 2 gets you access to the monthly ringtone. And the um, and that's you can find that in the community tab, the, the monthly ringtone, and also the behind-the-scenes content. We kind of meet to talk about episodes and stuff, and then we end up looking at art on Craigslist also a lot of times. Uh, that's you get access to those that those come out at least one of those videos comes out per month but you know sometimes more than that sometimes three anyway just ask people about it the last one was really cool interesting and kind of you know kind of scary actually the last behind the scenes so you know but hey you know that's just for the hardcores I mean whatever so check it out if you want to anyway big thanks to um, Chicken Jessica for um working behind the scenes and thank you to weird artifacts who does our highlight clips, which you can find at um, chicken coop show on YouTube and you can find it on Instagram as well. And also on um, TikTok. Thank you to Gemma and Cammy for their help with that stuff as well. Kind of dealing with those accounts. And also um, I think that's it. Thanks to everyone who joined and we usually do this Mondays at 6 PM Pacific time. And um, but we'll, and just oh, if you want to find the after show debrief link, it's in the description of this video, okay, that you're watching right now in the description, and we'll be over there in just a moment. And again, if you want to f look at all the past stuff, go to the Chicken Coop playlist on this channel, and you can find all the past stuff. Okay, anything else I need to mention, Chicken Je Chicken Jessica? Or are we good to Ch go? Chicken Jessica. Chicken Jessica. Now we good. We good. Okay. All right. Well, look, um, and hey, if you're not a member, just look at the rest of this video on your own and just watch the end. The last shot is just truly bizarre. You'll see what I mean. Okay. All right. All right. Bye, everybody. Um, my name is Brent Weinbach. 
I'm Laura Weinbach. The name of the show is The Chicken Coop.